Hello, hello. The audio was a little off on the other video, so I'm just going to do a second one with a completely new face. So, first off, what you want to do is just the base shape of the face, kind of like dictating what the character might be like. And we're going to try and react to what we see. So I usually just like, you know, doing a, doing a series of fun little shapes there. Uh, once that's done, I'm just going to transparent lock that and then use a darker tone to start describing some of the inner forms and some of the shadows. So I'm just going to start describing the ears and then I'm going to think about the eye cavities and describe those forms. Sometimes my faces may seem a little asymmetrical, <laughs> but that's all right. And then we're going to do the shadow underneath the nose. Uh, as my last video, I was describing to take a look at uh, really good portrait photography so that you can start building up uh, your visual library in terms of shadow shapes. Uh, for example, like the eye cavity. I usually do it like this, but that still reads as an eye, let's just say that. We can take a step step further and change the shape slightly to incorporate the pupil, and then incorporate a bit of the eyelid. You can see it's kind of like an interesting progressive step to more detail, but they all kind of read the same, at least that's <laughs> what I think. Uh, so continuing on, we're going to add in a little bit of the nose and then the mouth. Yes, well, this looks like an angry fellow. Uh, so I'm going to start eccentric. I'm reacting to that. I, I really don't know what this character is going to be like in the end. I'm simply just reacting to it. Uh, so I've had a lot of the darker colors selected. I'm going to try to find like a mid color in between, which I think, yes, okay, that's a mid color here. So now I'm just going to start describing the planes of the face this way, just to give it more of that dimensionality. Let's add a bit of that. And we want to describe the nose on this side, but I don't really want to use the dark side here or the darker color there just yet, because I just want to balance it out nicely. We can describe a little bit of the other chin here. Again, these are just shapes I've picked up looking at really good portrait photography or uh, really using the cutout tool in Photoshop on, on photography or faces, because that, that really dis like it, it, it describes the form. It, it like combines a lot of the values together that you can use. I think when I was in fine arts, we call it semiotics, just a study of shapes and symbols. Well, like we can we can go back to our little dem demo here and just show you, like, you know, when we were young, we usually like to draw the eyeball like this. We read that as an eyeball, and of course, once we get older, we start to have to unlearn <laughs> our childish shapes, but we can still turn that into like a cartoon shape, but, you know, there's like a little bit of a form up here where the eye bulges out. And, you know, there's like the eyelids up here. If, depending on the type of person, they'll have thicker, thinner, or their eyelids will be flushed. Heavy brows here. Can we continue on that way? Alright, going back to our face here. Okay. It's going to describe a bit more of the form here. And it's getting a little too monotone for my taste, so I'm going to start shifting it via different uh, hue shifts. So you can also do it with the saturation as well, but I just want it to pop a little bit. Hopefully you don't hear a lot of the noise in the background. Yeah, that's looking a little nice. A little bit more hue shift here. Just, just to give some visual interest. Now, I'm going to create a new layer and create the eyeballs. I uh, usually like it to be toned close to a mid-tone, just because it's in shadow. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. 
Oh. <laughs> One thing I have to say though is, trust your gut. If you see something, your eye goes, yeah, that, go with it. it took me a long time to trust it. Because I always try and like look at what best things were there. Well, the best kind of art or uh, look at who was popular and try to mimic that. But then after a while, I, I just didn't really feel myself. Like feel like myself. Feel like I felt like I was losing my voice, or my artistic voice, in lieu of just trying to be popular. Uh, but that's a, a journey that we all have to take. It's a humbling, humbling long journey. And in my ranting, not ranting, in my uh, wise advice, I forgot to create a new layer, but we can. Remedy that by selecting this. If people work in animation, this is almost like me building a character with like masks and cutters. As you notice, I always use like the lasso tool and everything, as well as selections, because I don't want to like, I don't want to go in like zoom in and go in and be like, all right, I gotta be careful and like, you know, not hit the edge here. I sort of go in, have this selected, do a full circle, do a full circle. It's simple, keep it nice, keep the rhythm, the flow going. Cause it's all about that. I mean, you wanna keep the uh, momentum going. <laughs> all right, so click on this, make this a bit darker, red here. And sometimes when I'm using the color sliders, it's just very intuitive. I, I'm not really, like I, I've been choosing my own colors for a while now that I'm not trying to uh, adhere to a certain theory too much. I'm, I'm going with what my gut says, so it's like, okay, like, and I'll work with this gray shadow here, and then I kind of want to make it pop a little bit. Let's add a nice accent there. Still want to make this pop a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. Heavy eyes. This guy's overworked. Poor lad. Alright, go here. That. That's what the teeth. I always like showing a bit of teeth. Who's that? Who's that guy with the teeth? Scrap the from there. Feel like we could go a little, little bit more. All right. This guy means business. Let's put some eyebrows on him. And then we create a new layer and again, add some hair. You're gonna kind of go crazy. Maybe he has a, you know, a little bit of a Martin shop going on. Martin. Why is that so weird to say? Morton, Madden, Chop. It's actually a nice moment here with a nice blue and yellow. Make that a bit dark, darker. Uh, I feel like his nose is still kind of flat, so I want some planar shifts here. Just to give that more visual interest. And then maybe a planar shift here here and we can give it a, it's too recessed hmm, didn't like that see you made mistakes give this some more three-dimensionality hmm. 
I'm just trying to like figure things out in this character. Nothing on my suit character. <laughs> 